In our home, we recently just traded out all the chores in our house, so everybody's learning new chores. We keep the exact same thing for like six months or even a year. Our last chores we kept for about 15 months, and now we are changing them up. Eddie is five now, and he can start doing some things around the house. One of his new chores is to wipe all the window sills. We live in Georgia, and we get a lot of flies. So flies end up dying and staying on this windowsill, and it needs to be a weekly chore to wipe them off. So on Tuesday, Marvin gets his rag nice and wet and then gives it to Eddie. Phoenix in the morning pulls up the blinds on this day for part of his morning routine, and Eddie is going to wipe them all up. Marvin, you did a good job wetting this rag, but it's a little too wet. Look, Eddie squeezed some water onto the floor. Look at all that. You want this as dry as you can get it. Use your big muscles. And dry it. That's fine. You'll get better. Okay. When you wipe this windowsill, this is the dirtiest part. You want to wipe the dirtiest part last. And when your rag gets dirty, it's yucky. So step back and watch mommy do this one, and then you can do the next one. And then when they're done, I'll come and check them and see if they missed anything. That's all part of training, especially when you shuffle their chores. It's super important to check them because otherwise if they mess up, they don't learn how to do it correctly. And so you're actually training them to do it incorrectly because not correcting the incorrect is training them to do it that way, which is incorrect. So it's really important as a mother and a manager of your home is to check new chores until they master it. Once they master it, it's so much easier. They do it well, they do it correctly, and they're really proud of it. You saw how proud Eddie was of those windows and he just wiped three window sills, but that's the point. You get them to love doing it, you get them to love a job well done, and then you've raised tidy kids. Okay, Summer. Good job. All right. All right, this is Ruth, and it's her job to clean the half bath. Hi, bud. Thank you for contributing to our family. Ever since we moved into this house a little over a year ago, I haven't been able to use my pantry. The shelves fell right away when we moved in and I needed my husband to secure them. Well, he got that done and it turned out amazing. So what you'll see is me putting jars on shelves and it was such an exciting time. I thought that I'd put a little clip of me making dinner in between some of my chores in here because that is my real life. I have eight kids and I'm constantly making meals while I'm doing anything and everything. So it always interrupts what I'm doing. I'm constantly stopping and making things. Tonight we had grilled chicken thighs. My mom had made cornbread earlier that day when she came over because I found some mysterious flour in my cabinet and I wasn't sure what it was. My mom said, I think that looks like cornmeal. Let's try to make cornbread out of it. And it turned out awesome. So this is our dinner. We're all about to sit down and eat and then I'm getting right back to what I was doing before, which is putting all of my canned items in this pantry. Derek made it so that each shelf holds about 50 quarts and I absolutely love it. All of these jars were under my bed and randomly in cabinets everywhere before and now they're going to all be in one place. All the empty jars 
wouldn't fit under my bed because all the full jars were under my bed. So now I'm going to put all the empty jars under my bed. <laughs> And the full jars are going to go here. You'll see me doing a happy dance because I've lived here over a year and I've been dying for this project to get done. Oh my goodness, look how good it looks. I can't wait to fill it up. I've already been making pickles and other things. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that we will see you again in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.